This is Neat Linux back, and tonight we're going to look at PC Linux OS 2009.1. As you know, I liked this the last time, so I thought I'd download this one and see how we got on. Lovely desktop, love it, love it, love it. So anyway, we'll go up to the apps, quick look around, tools, docs, all there, lovely, lovely, lovely. That's what we like to see. Internet, chat, file transfer, blah, 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 blah. Web browsers, Firefox is the standard. Mail is Thunderbird and Copet for Instant Messenger. Got graphics and sound and video here. Plenty there for you. The actual CD comes up with two gig of stuff anyway. So there's loads and loads of stuff on there for you. Amrock is your audio player. And M player is your multimedia. DVD is your... Hmm, not one I'd choose. Office comes with Open Office as standard. So all your stuff is Open Office. So we'll go down to Word Processors and open up Open Office Word Processor. Takes a little while, but bearing in mind that this is only on 384 meg of RAM, so that's not too bad. It just shows it will run on an older system, so that's cool. So it's nearly there. There we go. Open Office. So we'll just check what version it is. I know it's the current one, but we're going to show you. Open Office is free, but remastered by PC Linux OS. Nice touch. I like it already. Okay. Next. Lovely. We're going to go to the PC Linux Center. Mm. Or the Control Center, even. Put in your password. Up she comes. Nice and quick. Look at that. Lovely. So you can do loads from here. Configure your Samba, groupware, configure your mail, hardware, all stuff for that. Network and interconnection connections, no problem. System stuff. And network sharing, of course, don't forget that. All your local disks, manage partitions, blah 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 blah. Go on forever and ever. I'm just showing you what it is. It's cool. Now, if I was a new Ubuntu user, I would use this. Because that's everything I really need. Anyway, we'll go down to Synaptic. Put in your password again, of course. Synaptic will load. Takes a little while. There she is. Now, what I'm going to look for is some G-Streamer stuff. That's just the codex we're going to need for doing your multimedia stuff, like playing DVDs, if you're convert videos, blah, blah, blah. I'll go on forever. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. She's going. Oh yeah. Here we go. Now as you can see, there's loads here for GStreamer. Comes with Flack as standard and the base as standard. There's no lame as standard, so I would add that. I would also add the ugly plugins and the good plugins. Hmm. Is needed if you want to do a lot of multimedia stuff. I mean I'll do a lot of music, so that'd be the one for me. You can scroll down, and what I'm really looking for is the bad, and I can't find the bad, but as we go down further, we have the mad. Plug in for the MP3s. It seems to work, so no bad deal there really, is it? So that's cool. You've got the MPEG stuff there. So obviously if you're going to do video editing, you're going to need all this. So bear that in mind when you're downloading and installing, you're going to have to add some stuff to the system. So we're going to close him down. Okay, no problem. We we'll go to the menu again. I'm just going to flash through it for you a little bit. Development documentation. So we've got tools there for Java. We've got loads of games. I'm not going to go into them. Office is full open office, as you know. We've got plenty there for system. All your stuff, your settings. Blah blah blah. There's so much stuff here, it's quite good. Really good. But I do really like this. Peace Linux OS is the dog's testicles, as they say. So anyway, we'll try and find some more stuff for you. Ah, there is one thing I want to find for you. Know, it's down here somewhere. Where did I find it? Ah, there it is. Monitoring. A monitoring tool for Lexmark's printers. So that gives me the impression that Lexmark's printers works with PC Linux OS. That would be a real good thing, if it did. Or did it? Or what? What do you reckon? 
So I'm going to try and dig one out and see if it actually works with it. Because that's the only way to find out. So we'll get back to you on that one, I think. Okay. Anyway, plenty of terminals for to use. Uh, the Java stuff. Make a live CD. Make a live USB. That's all cool. Anyway. I'm going to open up the Fox. It's all there. Nice and quick. Runs really, really quick on this system. We click on that one that's flashing, so I clicked on it, as the average user would, and download some malware, but of course it's not here. It's just for the My PC Looks OS page for the community projects. And basically it was just, it's just the stuff they're telling you that's been taken over by developers, blah blah blah, have a read if you're going to install it or go to the page. I won't go too much into that. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to the BBC. Mm, of course, I do because it's British. It comes up real quick, unusually for the BBC. A little bit slow. Make that a bit bigger for you. I'm going to scroll down the page. Huh. No, 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 no. England 34th, France 10th. Cannot be. Must be a mistake. Let's go and have a look. We'll click on there. And as you can see, the flash is actually loading while we're loading the page. The net connection tonight is not very good, so don't worry too much. It doesn't look like this normally. Plus, on top of that, my frame rate capture on this video is only about 13 or 12, if you're lucky. It's time to get a new machine, I think. But anyway, that's a good score. Wasn't it? Hmm. So we're going to play that just to check if flash plays. Or we click on there. It's doing all the stuff. I think it's going to do the business, and yes, these are the highlights of the game. Now, bearing in mind my frame rate capture, this ain't too bad, really, is it? So, if you've got a full 30 40, no problem. -o. PC Linux OS 2009, thumbs up from me. Basically, download it, get it, load it on your system, you won't be disappointed. Sneaky Linux out.